Bertje. These two never can be three of them. The Irishman, the Scotchman, and the Englishman. And they were condemned to death. We won't go into the details of it. But they were standing along the wall, waiting to be executed. And the executor came on, and he said to the Englishman first, he said, you have three choices now, he said. You can be shot, or you can be hung, or you can have the guillotine. He thought for a bit and he said to himself, I think I'll try the guillotine, he said. The young man brought out this yoke, it was like an ironing board of all the world. And he sat up in it. And down the yoke came, the young man was looking up at it, you see. But whatever way, as Luke should have it, if it didn't jam three quarter ways down. And if it did, the executor said to him, he said, you know what, he said, someone must be prayed for, he said, it's a lucky day. Off with you, he said, out the back door, he said, I don't stop running, he said, it's your miles away, he said, you need to say nothing to know, you escaped, and that's it. And then he came on to the Scotchman, you see, and he said to the Scotchman, he said, the same thing, he said, you can be shot, or you can be hung, or you can have the guillotine. And your man thought for a bit, and he said, Jesus, do you know what? If it didn't work for him, it might have it worked for me. He said, do you know what? He said, I'll try the guillotine. Hopped up on the yoke like the iron and board, and down came the yoke, at exactly the same place if the thing didn't stop dead. Again, you see? Same thing. You open the door and you wouldn't see him for the didn't catch him yet. But in any case, it came to Paddy. The Irishman. No, Paddy, no. Well, Paddy, you have the same three choices. You can be shot, you can be hung, or you can have the guillotine. Sure, you better shoot me, says Paddy, that fucking thing isn't working at all. <laughs> Good night and God bless. <laughs>